another L for Christianity. I guess the new woke Christianity is going out on a square. <laughs> we know we at the end of this thing. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Arachakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the for elect tabernacle of David that is scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. God is trans exhibit at very liberal NYC Catholic Church raises eyebrows for take on gender identity. Now, vocab, are you going to take a break from, uh, you know, trying to suppress the Israelites and actually, uh, you know, take a careful look at <laughs> what the Catholic Church, you know, which is the father church of all you Christian denominations, um, you know, you're not going to highlight and, uh, you know, discuss what's being, you know, done, you know, with this whole new woke Christianity movement. I mean, because it's a lot of blasphemy <laughs> that's 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 coming out of the woodwork. All right. They, they speak in, uh, you know, very blasphemous things. And I'm out of, I haven't so far, I haven't heard a peep from you or, you know, none of your cohorts, you know, your fellow apologists, you know, who's supposed to be defenders. That's the word, that's what the word apolo apologia mean, defender. Well, why don't you defend the gospel against this new, this new woke Christianity uh, theology that's coming out of the woodwork? You know, but you're not going to say nothing. You know, you're, you're an hypocrite. And you're only out on one mission, you know. But anyway, um, you know, you see that it's getting real blatant with this whole wicked evil agenda, man. All right. I mean, you can't get liberty in the scriptures confused with the liberty of this world. All right. The, liber the liberty of this world is wickedness. The license to sin, to do as thou wilt which is a, a, a satanic slogan that originated from a Satanist known by the name of Aleister Crowley. We're not to be liberal. All right. We have to have, you know, morale. We still have boundaries. We still have restriction. Even the scriptures say to be holy, even as I am holy. All right. And, uh, there's nothing holy about the Christian or Catholic church. Very profane. So, <clears throat> matter of fact, let me get a quick scripture. Because all this is, is, you know, they turn the truth of the most side to a lie. All right. Was that Romans 1? And we know that no lie is of the truth as it is written. Romans 1. And I'm going to start at verse uh, 18. It says, For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. You know, so those who even know the truth, but they're handling the word deceitfully. They're using it for unjust gain. All right, they uh, overthrowing the faith of others. They watering it down, you know, because they didn't sold out. The Mosai, when he comes back, he's going to address all that. All right, these false prophets, you know, these mega pastor uh, churches. It says because that which may be known of the most size manifest in them for the most size show fit unto them for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and godhead so that they are without excuse because that when they knew the most high they glorified him not as the most high neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was dark and talking about our people you know they once had the law all right, they, they were under the covenant, but then, you know, they went 
to the dark side. You know, left the covenant, forsook the heavenly father, started worshiping idols. All right. It became vain like the heathen. Our people are under the same condition here in, in, in Babylon and, and wherever they're scattered, except the elect, because they're the ones who didn't, you know, they, they, they heard this word and uh, they were drawn from out of the darkness into this marvelous light. All right. This truth. When you learned, you know, you were in darkness when you were in sin. You were dead in your sins, man. It says, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, idiots, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to a corruptible man, into birds, four-footed beasts, and creeping things, idolatry. Wherefore, the Mosai also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, <clears throat> To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. You know, you uh, become mor uh, morally and physically impure, unclean. All right. Abominable. When you're supposed to be holy. The, the, you don't you don't really learn to be holy. From the, the, the Catholic or Christian church. Because it's filled with pagan idolatry. It's a lot of adultery, pedophilia, all that that goes on. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who was blessed forever a month. All right. And, and, you know, you could thank this devil, you know, his his spiritual father, Satan, who is the God of this world, who blinded the minds of them that don't believe, you know, the, the entirety of this truth. All right, you can blame this devil, man. You know, because he's he he he's he's a a, a born liar, as it says in uh, Psalms fifty eighth chapter. The wicked are strange from the womb as soon as they be born, speaking lies. The poison is as the poison of a serpent. This is the the the, the same serpent that that told Eve in a garden that if she ate of the knowledge of good and evil, she won't die. But right after she did that, she opened up Pandora's box. Adam followed, and it opened up death. And we went from immortals to mortal, listening to this damn devil. But that same devil is trying to convince you that the Most High is with all this confusion and wickedness. That same serpent, the dragon, the devil. And it tells you that in Revelation that he will go out to deceive the world. With all his blasphemies. All right. So this is <laughs> straight up wickedness. Man. It says a new exhibit at a very liberal Manhattan church is raising some eyebrows for its religious take on gender identity. The God is trans a queer spiritual journey display at the church of St. Paul. The apostle has some parishioners scratching their heads. And seems to run counter to the Catholic Church's stance on the trans community. The church should not be promoting this one irate parishioner. <clears throat> told the Post, I understood. It's like I understand there are trans people. I pray for all people, but enough is enough. And we don't pray for them. All right. Uh, let me get a uh, real quick. Man, we don't, we're not praying for these people. They're gone. The Lord gave them over to that uncleanness. You know, he gave them over to that reprobate mind, all right, to, to do such a thing. First John 5 and 16, it says, If any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. All right? And, you know, that whole trans that you know, I mean that whole community is just filled with that that sinful lifestyle and these are sins unto death by the way you know which is uh becoming a, a crime to even speak it you know when you condemn it when you say what the law says concerning it you know they they gonna call you uh you know toxic um they're gonna say that you're you're an extremist you know it's hate 
But hey, we don't care what what, they, what these people say. The Lord said, who shall rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? All right? So, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna pray for these people. The Lord even said, "I pray not for them. I pray for the. Uh, I pray not for the world. He only pray for his elect." All right. It says, <clears throat> "It seems like they are trying to force the agenda on others." No, it don't seem. It <laughs> that's exactly what they're doing. All right. They they're spreading it to your children. They. It's like no matter where you go, you know, that that this poisonous uh, wine, this this, you know, this uh, ideology, you know, you're 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 going to run into it somehow, some way. It's like there's no escaping it, whether you, you know, watching TV, whether you going to school, whether you going to church. It's going to be right there. And they're trying to force feed it to you. It says, also, when a friend asked a priest about this, they didn't answer. You can't put this out on the altar and then hide. That's what gets the church in trouble. The church been in trouble, man. A lot of people are leaving the church because the, the, the modern church is not, is, is, is not of the father, man. All right. You've been failing miserably. But that's what happens when we're dealing with the fruit of the Catholic Church, which is the false prophet. The Lord said, uh, uh, good, fruit, good fruit cannot come from a corrupt tree. Neither can a good uh, tree bring forth corrupt fruit. And Christianity, <laughs> that, that, that's, that stemmed from the Catholic Church. All right. Even Islam. It says the display by artist Ada Anu Chekwa is described as a queer spiritual journey in three steps, sacrifice, identity, and communion. Well, we know that you de these devils, they don't sacrifice to the Most High God. They sacrifice to, to Satan. 1 Corinthians 10 and 20. And it says, but I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to the devils and not to the most high. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. But the Catholic Church, <laughs> is, it, they, they, they manage over the years to try to bridge the gap. All right. Between serving the most high and serving uh, Satan. And you, that's that's not going to happen. You can, like it says in the next verse, you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and a cup of devils. You, know, you think you're going to serve the Most High by keeping pagan traditions, by uh, uh, being tolerant and accepted, uh, uh, acceptable to all these uh, sinful beings. And you're telling them they don't have to repent. They don't have to change. The, the Lord accepts them too. Nah, man. You know, you gonna you can keep Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, you know, all these pagan festivities that you get involved with and think that you're serving the Lord. You know, the Lord, he 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 looking for true worshipers. All right, they these people they have no idea what they're worshiping. Well, no, they do. They they're worshiping Satan. That's that's their god. That's who they sacrifice to. They don't know how to truly prop properly sacrifice to the Lord. Plus, the temple of the Lord is is his elect right now anyway. He ain't he's not in no building. All right, we give the, the sacrifice of praise unto Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And we present our bodies as living sacrifices. All right, with our through through the order, the the new priestly order, which is under the order of Melchizedek. It says you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table 
of devils. And that's, you know, the Catholic Church, Christianity, you know, because they didn't paganized everything. Try to bridge that gap. The Lord, he's not dealing with that. All right. You know not uh, what you worship for. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Israelites. All right. And is, the time is where the, 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 the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. All right. So, yeah, this is this is a, an abomination. And the Lord, he hated all manner of abomination. It even says that in Psalms 5, he hated all workers of iniquity. The Lord don't delight in any, any uh, sin. Neither did he give, what was that, Sirach 15? He did not command or, or, or give us license to sin. But that's what the Christian church do. Uh, Sirach 15. And uh, 13, it says, The Lord hate of all abomination, and they that fear the most I love it not. You know, when a man put on a woman's garment, all right, or when a woman put on, uh, uh, you know, men's clothing, that's an abomination. All right. It says uh, down here, verse 20, he have commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given any man license to sin. Hey, that's you teaching uh, liberty. You're, you're teaching license to sin. You know? Well, it tells you in Galatians that we, we're under liberty in, in Yahweh Shai, but we're not to use it for occasion to the flesh. Galatians 5 and 13, for brethren, you have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. All right. So, you know, the liberty has nothing to do with your members. But, of course, these pagans, they'll take it and, and, and make it about you know, the flesh. You know, since we got liberty, hey, we can be trans. You, you had uh, that 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 bimbo, that Edomite slut, a uh, porn Christian. You know, she was act, acting like she was sent by the Most High to liberate people. She was comfortable with being a a, a whore and thinking that she was serving the Most High. Man, that like. How 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 blasphemous could you get? All right, and then you jump down, uh, Galatians five and nineteen. It says, "Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these: adultery, fornication, uncleanness." All right, when you live live the the uh, the abominable acronym lifestyle, you're unclean. Is is off. Lasciviousness, you know, when you can't control your lust, and that's what they do. Idolatry. All right. Catholicism is filled with idolatry. Witchcraft. A lot of that comes from uh the Vatican too. A bunch of witchcraft. All these rituals that they do. Hell, uh, uh the coronation was witchcraft. All right, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders. I like, hey, that's that's a heresy. This new woke uh, uh, Christian bull that that's that's nothing but uh, heresy. All right, it's poisonous. It says envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past. That they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. And that's why the false prophet is going to be given, all right, to uh, the judgment. is going to be burned. The beast and the, the false prophet is going to be in a lake of fire. Because this is, you know, the world is uh, in self-destruct mode under the influence of this beast and the false prophet. So, let me go back. <clears throat> this is according to the exhibit, 
Sacrifice represents the need to shed an old life. Identity is described as the most in, impactful part of the display, asking the question, what does holiness look like? Communion places God and the mortal on the same plane. What? Now, holiness, me, the, the word holy means to be separate, sanctified, clean. All right. Being uh, trans, that's not that's not clean. All right. You, you're, you're, you're separated, you know, through the, 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 the moral and, and, and ceremonial laws of the Most High in the scriptures. Like, for example, when when it was um, time for the, the, uh, the Gentiles, which are the Israelite foreigners to come in into the fold, they were still given um, ramifications. All right. They had to abstain from uh, fornication. They had to uh, abstain from uh, blood. Things strangled. Etc. That was that was their way of remaining uh, 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 pure. Because they had to be separated from their un their old uncleanness. That's part of tr the transition from the old man to the new. You have to put away your old lust. What was that? Colossians 3. The Colossians 3. Yeah, 3 and 5, it says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection. You know, that's, you know, the, the spirit that the moles are under. Evil concupiscence, you know, un, unbri evil unbridled lust, right? And covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things the sake of the sake, the wrath of the most high come upon the children of disobedience, in the which you also walk some time when you lived in them. But now you also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. And saying that the most high is is a, a non-binary, you know, he has no gender or, you know, he's he's with the trans and he's with that movement or that movement. This is all filthy communication. They're trying to attach the most high with all manner of uh, evil and wickedness, man. All right. But they ain't talking about our God. They ain't talking about the, the Most High, Yahweh. They're talking about another another God. It says, lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. All right. And we were made in the likeness and image of the Most High power, man. And in the beginning, he, he, he set the order. You know, male and female may he them. Anything outside of that, you that's against the uh, the image. All right, so let me see uh, real quick. I think it's another one. I'm thinking it might be in First Peter two. There's another one on your liberty, right? Uh, 1 Peter 2 and uh, 16, it says, As free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as servants of the Most High. Right? There was another one I was really actually looking for. Let me see. I think it might be 1 Peter 1. <laughs> It is First uh, Peter 1 and 14. It says, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust of your ignorance, but as he which called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. You know, your behavior, your conduct, your lifestyle. There is nothing holy about being trans or any of the other shit that they're trying to identify with. That ain't holy. It's profane, actually. 
Because it is written, be holy for I am holy. So this is a big L right here, man. All right. And you might have that 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 demon airy. She gonna say, "Well, where does it say in the Bible that 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 trans is, is is a sin?" Like, just shut the hell up, man. Everybody that's talking right now outside of the elect, the Lord, none of this is is, is going unheard by the by the Most High, man. He hears it all, and that's why he's gonna come in a manner that he is. He gonna, he's going to devour and destroy it all at once, man. So anyway, um, I'm, I'm going to end off with that. Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to give all praise to y'all. Shalom.